is fantastic. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Today is the day, the day we've been waiting for, the opening of the one, the only, the Riviera Resort. It's thanks to Disney that we're here today. Disney, thank you so much for the invitation. I am delighted, absolutely delighted, to be sharing in the magic of opening day. I cannot wait. Let's get in there. Today is going to be filled with so much fun. I cannot wait to experience it all. I just checked in with Disney. I'm going to give you a quick run through of what's happening today. Got my media credentials right there. Again, a great honor. Thank you to Disney for inviting me. I've got a map of things we're going to experience today and a $25 gift card for lunch here at the Riviera. It's going to be a magical day. I think we're just checking in right now. We're going to look around just a bit and then there's an official ceremony to dedicate this new resort and then we're going to be on our way to experience everything, everything that this resort has to offer. It's so great to be back in here. You see the rings above me. Don't worry, we'll take a much slower look at all these things this time. The cafe is open now, which is great to see. You can get coffee over there. We'll definitely stop in here later today. We're going to go for breakfast first. Breakfast actually starts in five minutes. Minutes. So we're gonna make our way over to Bar Riva, but we're gonna take it slow today. We're gonna to look at every detail today. Today is going to be like no other day. All right, making our way down right now to take a look to try and find breakfast. There it is, the sign is right there. I was just like wondering, is it upstairs or downstairs? Bar Riva, over here. So you go down to the second level. I don't think I've been down here before. This is airline check-in, by the way. We'll be back here for sure. This is airline check-in for Riviera. We're going through these doors to get to breakfast. Now this is where the dedication ceremony will be my first one one ever opening a brand new resort. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing places I've never seen before. This is Primo Piatto, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. Never been here before. It's a bocce court. There is a bocce court right here at the Riviera Resort. I had no idea. I don't know how to play bocce at all, but I have a feeling I'm gonna learn. This whole area is all brand new to me. All brand new, look at this. Primo Piatto and then Bar Riva. Never been here before, Bar Riva. It's got a very cool vibe to it. You can see kind of those blue tiles all around. The paintings back there, right over there, we'll take a closer look in a minute. You can see those heating lamps up above for when it's a little bit cooler out. You can enjoy the open air. See, look, it's open air over here, but it's all covered. So I love that. So nice of Disney to put out this really great breakfast spread for us. They've got yogurt, they've got fruit, they've got all sorts of pastries, they've got juices. Uh, it all looks delicious. Let's dig in before that dedication ceremony. Starting off with a blueberry muffin here, and oh my gosh, they've got the smoked salmon caper cream. Wow, we gotta try at least one, possibly two of those. Well, look at the overnight oats with berries right there. Definitely gonna grab one of those as well. Last but not least, I'm gonna grab one of these right here. Looks like a truly delicious breakfast. Breakfast at the Riviera Resort, thanks to Disney at the Riva Cafe. It looks absolutely delicious. Smoked salmon, two pastries right there, and those overnight oats with the berries. I love it all. Of course, orange juice as well. Oh, so exciting. A brand new resort. A brand new resort at Disney. I can't decide if I'm supposed to eat this toast right here with a fork or not, but it's, it's kind of like a, it's a tougher one. Okay, there. I got it. The smoked salmon cream, in my opinion, is fantastic. I love the flavor there. Really, really good. Mmm. Truly fantastic. I could eat those for a while. I might go back for seconds here because that is so, so good. Now what I'm super interested in trying are those overnight oats with the berries. Looks super, super good right here. I'm gonna make sure I get the berries. And it looks like, I can't tell, I think it's pecans right there on top. I'm gonna get a strawberry there. Wow, it's so good, what if it's eat? Now that is how overnight oats are supposed to taste. Right there, the perfect amount of honey. There's definitely honey in there, love the nuts in there. Maybe it's because the fruit is on top there, but it is delicious. Absolutely amazing way to start the day at the Riviera Resort for the very first time. Those overnight oats, the pastries, oh, love it all. Finished breakfast a bit early and I decided to take a little bit of a walk because we have 50 minutes before the dedication ceremony begins. Now you can see the water area is over there. We'll be back. You can see the Skyliner out there. I want to give you a little bit of a tour before the dedication starts. Now the Riviera Resort main building is right there. You can see more rooms to the left and right of it. So the rooms on both sides. Subtle colors, subtle colors throughout. You can see some oranges, some blues, some greens. The main lawn is right here where they're gonna do the dedication in just a few minutes. And then right over there, there's the Caribbean Beach Resort. You can see the Skyliner right above. Now you can see the Riviera Resort gondola station is literally right there. I think what we're gonna do later today is actually walk from here over to there just to show you how short of a distance that is. That is super, super short. 
The pool right here is closed at the moment, but you can go in right this way. Slide right over there, more pool activities. Looks so, so fun. And then back that way, we'll walk there in a bit. There's more of just kind of a viewing area. You continue to walk in this direction and you can see more areas to sit down and enjoy. Clearly, they're gonna be doing something later here at the fire pit and we will definitely be back here in a bit, but I wanted to give you a quick sneak peek of where we will be before the dedication begins. You can also start walking this way and I believe it wraps all the way around to the Caribbean Beach Resort. Now to continue to orient you, the dedication will be taking place right here on the lawn. We're gonna continue around right now to see more of the Riviera Resort. And again, I wanna show you how close this gondola station is. I'm just imagining, I'm imagining what it would be like to stay in one of these rooms, just, just one of these right here. And then, you know, you're, you're just sitting back, relaxing in your chair, and the view is this. The, the view is the station right there and gondolas flying. It is a hypnotic, hypnotic experience just to be here and looking at all this. If you were staying in one of these rooms right over here, right by the end, and you kind of walk out the door behind you, because I don't think you can walk across the grass, but if you walk basically to the hallway, you are right there under the overhang. So you could go from your room in the pouring rain, go underneath the overhang right over there and make your way into the gondola station. You can do it all without getting wet. That is, that's awesome. That is fantastic. Now that being said, you can do that from any room because it's all got that overhang. I love the idea idea of the overhang so you never get wet or you know rained on as you're walking out oh, so smart walking back towards the main building now here's another entrance to that pool so this is the smaller pool right there look at this I like the uh, the metal door right there RR Riviera Resort love that pool right there and then you continue walking around you've got kind of a small display right over there and then those 180 portraits which you know I love take a look they've got some kind of event over here after the dedication is complete but you can see these go all the way around. I love it. And what I want to do is I want to walk on that pathway up above later today so that we can see it from above. Now, this is why I want to come out a little bit early so we can see it basically all to ourselves here. Look at this portrait. It goes up and up and up and up and up and up and over there. That's so cool. That's so cool. Now, welcome back to these portraits. No doubt about it, but let's keep walking around just for a minute before that dedication ceremony to see what we can see. I love the decor. Very, very nice to see they are all ready for the holidays. Passing by, take a look at that hidden Mickey right up there. Did you see this? Look at that. You see it right up there? That is so cool. Now, from the resort airline check-in area down here, we can actually see there are posters for Disney movies. And I, I'm just realizing now, they're not, they're not in English. So the theme carries over all the way to the Disney posters. And I'm gonna just take a guess here. Pretty, pretty confident. Italian? I'm, I'm gonna say Italian. I'll double check that. They got Inside Out. They've got Moana, spelled that way. They've got Finding Dory, Ralph Saves the Internet, and more. Just found out it's Italian and French. Italian and French. So I was half right. That, that counts. That definitely counts. Those circles right above us. And take a look at these trees right over here. They've got special Christmas trees just for the Riviera. I love it. You can see they've got the deer right up above the bulbs all throughout. You even got the snowflake one right there. I feel like that's a, a touch on Anna and Elsa, but not 100% sure. Now for the moment of truth, the dedication ceremony. to show off this incredibly, absolutely gorgeous Disney property. Disney's Riviera Resort is our 15th Disney Vacation Club Resort and the first dedicated DVC resort here at Walt Disney World since we opened Disney Saratoga Springs back in 2004. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. Isn't this a glorious day? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Woo. It also joins our most recent expansions Star Wars, Ride of the Resistance, Woo! our Tower Studios, sleeping two guests in the most modern, intimate, comfortable environment with private balconies and amazing, amazing views. Oh, the Disney Vacation Club members and guests will love this resort. So, everyone, I'd like to welcome to the stage Mickey Mouse, Woo! Minnie Mouse. Woo! Wow. brand new outfits from Topolino Serres. Don't they look spectacular? Woo! So they've all come to the European Riviera to study different art forms. Bonjour and bonjour. Benvenuto. Bienvenue. I am so proud to share this special place with everyone I love. Let's make magic 
here together with the gift of memory. Two, one. Truly a magical dedication ceremony at the Riviera Resort. And I gotta tell you, I love those costumes. Those costumes were my favorite by far. I cannot wait to meet them right by Topolino Terrace. When breakfast, we have breakfast reservations coming up, it's going to be spectacular. Not today, but another day we'll see them in costume. Amazing. What a great way to open the Riviera Resort and those outfits, extremely popular, no doubt about it. We just watched all of the senior leadership take a picture with Minnie Mouse in her new attire. Amazing to see. Dedication is over now and the Riviera is officially open you can see these waterfall effects I love those and there's actually artwork right here there's Daisy you can see she's been made out of clay right there's even extra clay right there on the edges that's awesome with the dedication now behind us we get to experience more of the Riviera Resort and since we're outside I figured we can go to that fire pit first and see what they're doing now the reason we're stopping here first to talk to the architect is because I want to learn more about the outside of the resort before we actually start to go in and see those rooms because the rooms is something we haven't seen yet <laughs> Haven't even seen the rooms yet. All we've seen is the lobby, and apparently it was just told by another executive who came by, we chatted for a minute, that the rooms are even more impressive than the actual outside in the rooms itself. So that, that got me even more excited for what we're about to see. Now I'm here with Dean. Dean, I heard that you created this resort. Great to meet you. Likewise, thank so you So tell much. us more about the inspiration for well, it. Well, I was one of several creators. Okay, I'll okay. say that. <laughs> okay, got it. We had a, a, a team on this project of that course. was just so wonderful to work with, and so I'm one member of that team. But of yeah, course. absolutely, it was wonderful to be involved in it. So tell me about the style this kind of round circular style on the outside what made you choose it well I think that's a great question and it was inspired specifically by you know again our main inspiration were these grand European resorts that we studied the architecture the detailing uh, the ornamentation but also one of the discoveries was how these resorts grew over a period of time and I think they had these multiple facets to them that became different experiences for guests throughout their stay hmm. so this is our main pool area but you'll also have other discoveries through the tunnel and I think even the entry and arrival sequence with the cascading fountain area yes. these are all different sort of chapters that unfold for guests during their stay and then of course the culmination of that the experience in the lobby the guest rooms themselves the dining up at Topolino's Terrace or here at uh, Primo Piatto and Bar Riva those are all different aspects that we thought we want to put that all together for our guests and create an amazing um, destination experiences at Disney's Riviera Resort. Absolutely. Now tell me more about that balcony because I'm looking up there and I know I was up there a little bit earlier. I was looking around. You can see basically all four parks yeah. from that one spot and it was the fireworks where they brought into you know the mine when you were thinking about these things. Right. It's a unique experience. Yeah, Both sure. in the daytime and in the evening hours. It just is magical and I think to be able to see the resorts, you know, again the parks, the Disney Skyliner, it's just never uh, affords guests another opportunity for a never before seen experience. Absolutely. And then, of course, the dining is just just wonderful. I can't wait for create it. Create experience, create a great experience for our guests. I get excited talking about it because, again, to me, the most important aspect is seeing the reaction of the guests, yes. right? Yes. As we try to take all of these elements and really make the accommodation part of the experience as well. So, you know, it's, uh, our parks are just so important in the guest experience. The transportation, getting from point A to point B should be fun and magical. Yes. And then, of course, the accommodations themselves. The home for our guests, welcome home, you know, at Disney's Riviera Resort. And I love that feeling. <laughs> One last question for you here sure. in terms of the color I love how it's gray and then the colors the blues the greens the purple the oranges they pop out at you how did that how did you come up with that because well, I feel we, like it's so creative sure absolutely and again it gets back to inspiration right we wanted to really focus on a cla uh, palette that felt a little bit more classical but we wanted the color pops to be that element of fun and inspiration yes so again in in understanding these resorts and really what made them unique we thought that was a really beautiful and unique feature and even Walt and Lillian themselves during their travels would stay at some of these these resorts and have these experiences we thought oh my god let's bring that here uh, but make it a uniquely Disney experience so it's not about replicating it's about being inspired by and making something new and unique just for our guests I love it I love a great job you guys did thank here. you Unbelievable. I appreciate that that was a truly magical moment to talk to the principal architect and engineer behind the exterior of the Riviera Resort Dean thank you again for your time that was awesome truly awesome to learn about how they created it what made those colors pop and how Walt and Lillian I had no idea would see something like this when they went and you know would go to the Riviera and see these kind of things and they brought that here I love it I absolutely love it now it's time for even more excitement we're going inside the resort to do so much more in line now to see the food and beverage and some merchandise the event room right here can't wait all right
right, here we go. This is part of our character collection that's also going to be up at Topolino's, right? So we've tried to take that IP and really showcase it within both areas. Wow. Um, so you actually have here within the dress, you have painter Mickey and writer, da or writer Minnie, sorry, dancer Daisy and sculptor Donald. Wow. Um, Loungefly Riviera, Loungefly exclusive to the resort here. What I love about this is every pattern is uh, different, right? So you really can customize it to your liking. Um, we also have the Riviera ears. Beautiful. Fantastic for the resort. And you're going to see this pattern throughout the entire wow. collection that we feature here at Lafayette. Okay. You have Donald and Daisy We have pluses. Donald and Daisy. I love and it. A little further down, you're going to find Mickey and Minnie okay. as well. What I think is really cute about these is we also feature the logo on them. Oh, smart. So very nice to have that there. Um, what I love about the Masters Collections for Disney's Riviera Resort is we really focused on the beauty of the resort, and we have it in various forms. Um, so you'll find it within the lithographs as well as within the journals and the note cards. Wow. Um, and even an ornament that you can take home and hang. Oh, I love it. Um, we tried to focus in on the colors of the Riviera, so you'll find that all of our color palettes are really light. Got it. Um, which is great for when you're staying in the parks. Right, right of course, of course. Throughout the resort, you will actually find pillows just like this within the hotel rooms. Wow. And this also has the double design to it, so you have the logo on the front as well as the oh, detail on the back. I love the Mickey's. And the hidden Mickey's. That's well. great. Wow. And this pattern you'll find out throughout the entire collection. Wow. And then obviously, who doesn't love a bag with a oh, logo the on it? The big colors right? too, exactly. and then the yellows and oranges. Wow. Yes, and we also have the uh, the additional little mini purses that can go with it Fantastic. as well. And then my personal favorite is obviously the luggage. I can see right? why it's your favorite. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's got the the nice branding on the front of it and then if you turn it around it does feature some of the, the character IP as well. That is fantastic. I love the shirts too and the hats. One of my personal yeah, favorites. I see that. Yeah, that, yeah, I got that immediately. <laughs> I love it. Perfect. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Stephanie. You're really welcome. appreciate that. Here checking out some of the food with my friend Michael Riviera. Michael, take it over tell us what we're seeing. How are you? I'm the chef de cuisine for concept development here at Walt Disney World. We wanted to truly invite you to Walt Disney's newest resort, our deluxe property, Disney's Riviera Resort, and showcase some of our food offerings. So we'll start here at Prima Piatto. So Prima Piatto is our casual dining experience. Here we have a couple food breakfast items to showcase. Our first is blueberry lemon ricotta pancakes for you. Moving up, we have one of our house-made pizzas. We have fresh pizzas made throughout the whole day. Wow. So definitely one of our showcase items in the morning is our sausage, oven-dried tomato, and fresh egg pizza. I can think I can smell it. It smells delicious. It is. And then we have here our next sandwich. So one of our handheld, so sliced mortadella, a little jardinier vegetable and provolone cheese paired with a little applewood smoked bacon as a side for you. Wow. And then definitely one of our signature offerings we have in this location would be our uh, croque monsieur. So a little egg on top, brioche bread, bechamel, ham and cheese. Wow. And of course a little fresh fruit as well. Definitely a beautiful little restaurant we have right along the pool side so you can dip right in the pool when you're finished. Oh wow. Then next door to that we have Bar Riva which is one of our bar dining experiences. Definitely a little coastal influence you can get a quick sip and enjoy. Yes. As we move up to the rooftop, we have Topolino's Terrace. That's our signature dining experience here. So one of our first offerings I'd like to show you is our house-made ricotta with tomato marmalade, aged balsamic, and a little fresh-pressed olive oil, and a panda epi, of course, to go with it. Yes. Next on our antepasto menu would be our olives, so house-marinated olives. We have pichelin, castel vetrano, and calamato, fresh herbs, lemon, calabrian chili, and garlic. Wow. And then really rounding out that antepasto menu would be our burrata. So our burrata is beautiful hand-pulled burrata, beautiful straciatella filling, uh, black truffle, lavash, apirata, olive oil and some sea salt to garnish. Oh my gosh. I want to focus then on our entree. So we have all handcrafted pastas here at the resort. Wow. So nothing being brought in, all handmade here for you. So here's our bucatini pasta with Puglia olive oil, fresh basil, little pomodorochi tomatoes, San Marzano tomatoes, and Monte Grappa cheese. Again, a showcase of our menu at the rooftop. Wow. Of course, we don't want to end any meal without a sweet. So here we have a couple to show you. Our Ooh. first is our pistachio mousse. So pistachio mousse with morello cherries, Valrona caramel, and both milk chocolates. As well, we have a fruit of the forest dessert. That's our plant-based offering for our guests here at the resort. Oh, wow. Both hibiscus and black raspberry, your focused flavors. A little basil sugar there as well to garnish. Rounding out your stay, or maybe as a little nightcap, we have La Petite Cafe. It's our coffee bar by morning, wine bar by night, but pastries available all day. So you can enjoy a lemon tart, fruit tart, some madelines, bouchon brownies, but definitely plenty of options for you to enjoy during your stay, AM or PM. It looks absolutely delicious. Thank you. I love Thank it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Mike, for showing me. I appreciate it. That was an awesome experience seeing all the food and the merchandise, and they gave me some madelines for the road. I gotta tell you, all the food and merchandise 
merchandise. Super exciting. It's all brand new and I love the design. Some of those hidden Mickeys in there. I have a feeling it's going to be extremely popular. You know, you know I love this hat. So I mean, when I buy it immediately, that means I really do love it. Here are those Madelines. I want to give them a try right now since we just stepped out of there. Bon appetit. I love it. It tastes delicious. You can taste the lemon in there. Sometimes Madeline, you don't taste as much of the lemon. It's more just kind of like the bread flavor. I love the lemony taste with the Madeline. The chocolate, I feel like, adds a lot. Now, there is no time to lose. Let's head on up. Probably see those rooms right now. So excited about that. Delighting and surprising. Here we go. Big greeting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Marie. Good to see you. How are you looking? Great. I love it. Your resort. This is fantastic. Look around here. It looks like we're about to walk off into the sunset uh, together. I love it. It's fantastic. We'll go to the bridge together. We'll hold hands. We'll bridge together. It's magical. Absolutely magical. I love it. Fantastic. Marie, I'm surprised and delighted to see you. Pleasure. Until next time, I'll see you on the road. On the road here, we'll cross the bridge together. Okay. <laughs> Till then, thank you very much. Bye, Marie. Bye. Love it. I'm both surprised and delighted to see Marie here. That was awesome. So, so cool. Now we're going to see the studio and then we're going to see that grand villa. So we're going up to see two rooms. Walking down the hallways now, you again can see those hidden Mickeys in the carpet. I love it. It does have a very grand feel to it. I don't know if you can hear a little bit of an echo, but it's they're tall. This the ceilings are really tall. There are some resorts where you can I can almost oh, I almost touched that one. I almost touched it. But they're uh, they're actually much taller than you might think. And I love some of the artwork. It's subtle. It's so subtle, elegant. You can really feel it. You can feel what they were going for here. So you see the princesses in some, and you see kind of that painting of the castle and other locations. Wow. The windows are kind of glassed over here, so you can't really exactly see outside, but plenty of natural light coming in. We're here at the end of the hallway, taking a look at some of those tower studios. At the Riviera Resort, checking out one of the tower studio rooms here. This is room 8223. This room is amazing. Super modern right here. Let's just take a walkthrough of it. You have your door right here, right to the left of it. You've got your microwave and take a look. You've got cabinet space and inside you've got different cups, things you'll need, toaster. I mean, it's fantastic. Towels, shelling areas right up there. Right below, you've got water, water glasses below, and then there's more cabinet space right below there. There's your fridge right in there. Fantastic to see. I love it. Now walking around, this is actually a room meant for two guests. And take a look. You can see this bed right here. Looks super comfy. And I love, I love, look at them. They're flying. They're flying out the window right here. This is fantastic. Now going around here, you can see a desk area right over there. You've got a Keurig coffee machine, which I love. You've got two shelves right up here. Phone over there, Keurig cups. You've got a, shell, a drawer right there with the Bible in it. And then over here, take a look at this. You've got a little outlet right there so you can plug in your phone at night. And I'm pretty sure, yep, it's on both sides. You've got two small areas to plug in your phone. It's so smart. It's so smart. Take a look, making our way around to the window here. You can see it opens up and it's got this beautiful view outside of the parking lot at the moment. But take a look, you can see kind of that fence kind of follows you along here. See that? With those Mickeys right there, which I love. Take a look, you've got some, I'm pretty sure, useful furniture when you pull this up. It should come apart. Let's take a look. And yep, you sure enough, you can open this up and it's actually a container in there where you can put some of your belongings. And it also makes for a footrest or a stool. How cool is that? Now before we go outside, let's take a closer look over here. Right across from the bed, we have the desk right here. You've got a very large TV right there. There's the arm length versus the TV. Like it a lot. You've got your Wi-Fi information, another shelf area here, and then another one of these cabinets right over here, which doubles as a footstool or regular stool, and you got space right inside. Now inside the bathroom here, we've got a ton of space. And look at this shower. This shower is enormous. We'll look at it in a second. But you see on your left, as you walk in, you've got a safe, you've got hangers, you've got extra pillow and blanket, steam iron. You've got an ironing board right there. You've got areas to put your suitcase right there. Across from it, getting back to the shower, across from it, you've got the single sink right there. Love that mirror. Hi. Then you've got your tissues, your towels, your under sink storage area right over there, your vanity mirror right over here, toilet right here, towel rack, and now the shower. The shower itself is huge. There's a tremendous amount of space in here. This is me standing all the way up. You can see there's a small bench right over here, and it's actually a rainfall shower. So you sit right here like this. This is I'm in the shower. I'm in the shower. They have the soaps here. I really wish it was the, the non-to-the-wall soap, but that's they were trying to protect the environment. I get it. And then you can see it's the rainfall shower right here, and the secondary one, which is actually a wand, right there. Kind of cool. Now, I'm not going to turn on the shower, but just take a, another look at how large this is. The glass door closes right there. It's a very large shower. If the size alone wasn't enough, they've thought of every little efficiency to make it even more massive. So even though I'm closed in here, I'm totally closed in, I've got enough space to spin all the way around. My hand hits this door right there, but that's it. I can, I can still spin all the way around inside the bathroom. That's, 
That's impressive. Sure enough, they do have a few other body lotion and facial soaps right there, so that's great. They do have a few soaps as well, but the other ones are indeed on the side of the shower. Really a fantastic spot. I mean, just for two. It's meant for two guests, and I feel like that is a perfect size. Now, let's go outside. Super relaxing feel. That's what I have to say about this view right here. You got these chairs right here and a super relaxing view. Now, this is the view of the front of the resort, just right out front where you can see the cars out there, the road going by, but I feel like the rooms on the other side of the resort will have a great view of the water and the Caribbean Beach Resort and the Skyliner, so don't forget, there are rooms on both sides. Truly a magical experience. I'm telling you, seeing a brand new room and every part of it is really, really well-themed. A beautiful spot, a truly, Truly beautiful spot. Don't wanna to take too much time, but seeing this room has been unbelievable. I'm telling you, awesome, I love it. Now we're gonna take a look at the other room and speak to the Imagineer who created the internals. We're taking a look at the other room across the way with the couch down here, not the bed. So you can see once it's folded up for the night, you have this much space. Look at this, take a look at this. You're walking. <laughs> Well, all the way around the room here. Again, it's meant for two guests. That's the important part. Meant for two, but for two guests, this is nice. I can absolutely see myself smiling ear to ear every time I wake up thinking about the Disney vacation that I'm on. I love it. Take a look, this room actually has a view of the water and the Skyliner Station. Look right there, you can see the Skyliner Station from the room. This is awesome, this this is awesome, this is so cool. So there go the Skyliner cars right over there on their way to Epcot and there these ones are going to Caribbean Beach and Hollywood Studios. In my opinion, this resort is the next level in terms of efficiency for the rooms because it just feels like everything was thought through with the greatest detail. Every little small part of this resort and the rooms has been thought through. Every, every minor, minor detail, minor part, the handles, I mean, everything. Now I'm sitting here with Joe from Disney Vacation Club. Joe, the internals of Riviera are just impressing me with the efficiency. Tell me about it. <laughs> it's amazing, right? So yeah. welcome to our 15th Disney Vacation Club Resort. You're seeing, you know, Disney's Riviera Resort. And it's, it's amazing because we're, it's inspired by Europe, you know, with a little, well, obviously a lot of Disney <laughs> uh, all around. And we're actually uh, standing, uh, excuse me, sitting on the balcony of our tower studio. Yes. And our tower studio is that intimate uh, accommodation for two people. We love it. It's and so you actually just saw the outside where what we're looking at yes. is actually the Disney Skyliner, a new state-of-the-art gondola system. We love it because it gives our guests the opportunity to go to Epcot, gives our guests the opportunity to go to Disney's Hollywood Studios, and obviously, Disney Hollywood Studios, a lot of things happening there. Yeah, absolutely. So, super excited about this resort. I can't think of it a more efficient way to get from here to Hollywood Studios oh gosh, and right? Epcot. I mean, it's just, it's <laughs> so efficient. Like, you just get there, you get to Epcot in 10 minutes. Yeah. You get to Hollywood Studios in maybe seven minutes. Yeah, and, and it's that right whole there. area, right? Yeah, you're right Epcot. there. Boardwalk area. One of my favorite it. parts about this Skyliner system and what you did here at Riviera is yeah. the, the covered walkway for when it rains. So yes. every little detail like that has been taken into every consideration. Every little detail, and it's great. I mean, when you think about just standing here, it's a wonderful picture spot. Yes. Like, you've never seen that in the horizon. So it's, it's an amazing uh, addition to yeah. our Walt Disney family. Fantastic. Now that was a look at the Tower Studios, but we're not done yet. I've saved one of the best for last in terms of the room reviews. We're going up to see one of those deluxe overview circular rooms. I hear so much about it. I don't remember the name, but we're gonna find out right now. On the fourth floor right now, and the room we're looking for is right over there. The anticipation. You feel it? You feel it? All right, we're all checked in. Thanks to the friendly team here. Thank you, Disney. Again, this is awesome. We're going to check out the Grand Villa. We're checking out room 8406. Just head right in. It's hard to know where to start looking. I'll just be honest with you. It's difficult to know. First off, we got a mirror right here. There's, there's a lot going on over there. There's a lot. But let's turn left first. Turning this way, you can see the grand dining room and an amazing view outside of the white balance. Can't even focus because it's so sunny. I'll take a look at the room over here. I have to be a little bit on the quiet side because there's network filming next. Door, but oh my gosh, look at this room. Look at this room. This is amazing. <laughs> this is incredible. Okay, so here's one of the views right outside of the Riviera Resort. This is unbelievable. You've got a TV right here, a nightstand right there. I, I can't even I can't even see it all. It's fantastic. And then look at this view. This is the view I was talking about. I did not bring my sunglasses with me out here, but look how sunny it is. Fantastic. This is what I'm talking about. These are the views for Riviera that I am talking about right here. You can see we're at the Grand Villa right now. You can see all the way across to the Skyliner Gondola, the water, the shimmer 
of the sun. I love it. The two pools you can see right over here. This is this is magical. This is magical. I want to keep moving because I want to see everything, but this is just incredible. This is the view. This is the view that I'm talking about. You can see as part of the master suite right here, you've got that very large bed. Take a look at the artwork right behind. I love that. The chandelier above don't even doesn't even need to be lit because there's so much natural light coming in here. Take a look. You've got your couch right there. Closet over here. Wow, just, just wow. Look at this master bathroom. I just, I, we have to stop for a second. We, we, yeah, I'm just, just gonna show you. This is a huge tub right here. There's a stand right over there. Two, two sinks, two, two mirrors right over there. And look at this, this, this. Hold on, are you watching? Are you still watching? Are you, are you still watching? Are you still watching? This is the shower. <laughs> this is a huge, huge shower. Just to show you how big it is. This is me. I'm six feet tall. I'm, I'm six feet tall. My arms make it a lot taller than that. But this is an enormous, enormous shower. The tub right here is super deep. I, I'm tempted to get in it, but since I have shoes on, I'm not going to. But you can see, look at this. This, this is how big the tub is. And it's got a lot of space around it. Tile floor right there. All of this is truly magical. Everything, every small detail, again, has been looked at. And you've got a separate door that leads to the toilet. Wow, this is, this is it's just all incredible. It's, I, could, I could spend so long here. We don't have too much time, so I want to just show you the preview, but wow. Again, keeping my voice down just a little bit because there is network filming going on. I'm gonna walk outside of the master bedroom here and take a look at the dining room right over here. Are you looking at this? Dining room can seat 10 people. Love the chandelier above. A little bit tough to see because there's so much natural light in here, but I love that, the individual tiles. It's amazing. And then you've got this view outside. Again, the light, a little bit difficult to balance here, but take a look, you can see the Mickeys right there. Just, I mean, incredible, incredible place. Leaving the dining room here, we're making our way into the family room. This area is perfect for entertaining. I absolutely love it. Take a look, you can see the chairs right there, sofa right there. Look how large the space is right here. This is amazing. Perfect for entertaining large groups. Now, there are a lot of other folks in here with us, but it does not feel crowded, does it? Look, look how many people are in this room with me here. There, it does not feel crowded in the least. It's shocking to me. And you can see, all right, we're gonna take a look in a minute at the kitchen. Kitchen, but you can see from here the counter right there and the full kitchen right behind now I'm here with a few of our friends from Disney tell us more about these rooms How many of them are there and how many guests can they sleep? So there's 12 of these and they sleep 12 guests. Okay. All right. That's fantastic And they all have just equally majestic views outside because I was looking I was hypnotized hypnotized with the views out there Yeah, they're gonna give you views of the lagoon as well as the resort. I'm so so impressed super luxurious awesome Thank you guys. Thank you. Welcome home. Thanks Thank for joining you. us So across from the dining room here we have the full kitchen and I love it You've got two smaller bar stools there, which are super plushy love that too on this side I don't know if you can see this light right here. It's kind of got those branches and the leaves right there Every small, oh, there's the light. Every small detail, I'm telling you, has been looked at. You've got the sink right here with the head that comes off. Super helpful for that full kitchen. Continues on. You've got everything that you need. This is your home for a while when you're at Disney, and I'm telling you, it feels like home like that. Continuing on on this side, you've got your Keurig right there. There's water for us. Take a look at these cabinets. Some of them are glass. Some of them closed up right there, but they're all for you to use while you're here. I love it. The oven, right? Excuse me, microwave right there. Oven below us, and look at that. Super, super modern. Love it. Great feel to it all. And they all follow that same color as the outside, so the outside really matches the color of the inside. So cool. Fridge fully stocked, as you can see. Big one right there with the refrigerator there and freezer below every single need that you need while on vacation is met Riviera Grand Villa wow I didn't even realize the first time as I was walking by take a look at the archway here look <laughs> This, the pattern follows all the way around. That's so cool. Making our way now with the kitchen behind us, you can see small cabinets all around, and it sleeps 12. You heard that right from our friends at Disney. It sleeps 12. And the bathrooms just keep getting more impressive. Take a look at the mirror right there. There we are. Hi. You can see the toilet below me. This is just amazing. Marble everywhere. It's so efficient. Like, it feels huge. It is a huge space. You thought that was a big space. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh my god, this is amazing. Not only is this a gigantic bedroom here, but you can see Wally and Eva and the Axiom ship. Do you see the Axiom ship right up there? This, okay, so again, I mentioned earlier, subtle Disney, right? I mean, I know it seems not so subtle, but to me, this is perfect. The mix of elegant Disney 
that feel, the European, oh my gosh. Sure enough, this is hilarious. <laughs> you have a separate balcony over here. So this balcony is actually shared with the, with the kitchen and the dining area and the master bedroom balcony is beyond this wall over there. This is the master bedroom balcony over here. We're on a totally separate balcony in here. This is the, the living room in there. This right over there, there it is. There's the master bedroom balcony right over there. This is amazing. Making our way as quickly as possible, but also wanted to show you just about everything, the beds, the chairs, the cabinets, the TV, the artwork, it's amazing. I even love, look at this. This, you see this? Looks like almost like a, a salt. Kind of like a, a, I don't know what that is. It's, it's a type of lamp, but it's made of this like crystal stuff. I love it. Oh my gosh, places to hang up your clothes. It continues. It, this is the, we're in the same, we're in the same grand suite now. We're continuing, bathroom's back there. Take a look at this. Oh my gosh. And this room, this room, okay, does not share a bathroom with the one out there. This room has its own bathroom. What? I feel like I've just been continuing going from room to room, but this is all just one room. 12 people sleep extru- I, I honestly, honestly, I feel like you could sleep more people in here than 12. That's, that's me. I know that they say 12, and I know you have to follow the rules when they tell you to sleep 12, but if you're looking for like, oh, is it too much, if it's not enough space for 12, it's plenty of space for 12, let's just say that. Another amazing view, and this is a third balcony. That's the third one we've come across, because there, look, you can see the kitchen one there with the other bedroom, and the far one is the master one. So there's three balconies we've come to this, this time. And this one's got this, <laughs> this view of the Skyliner right over there. I'm blown away. I'm blown away at every moment by this. Now, the other room had the artwork above the beds. I actually like that one a little bit better, but this one does have artwork too. Around the walls over there, the TV. And if you go into the bathroom, and this, it's just, it just keeps going. Oh my gosh. You can see, it, it, the artwork doesn't stop. The artwork does not stop even here where the toilet is. It, it's everywhere. It is everywhere. Well, that shower goes in further too. Wow, again, the efficiency of space, the usefulness of space here is just mind-blowing. Continuing our way from this third bedroom. I'm starting to lose track. That's so many bedrooms. This is another entrance slash exit to the Grand Suite here. If you look down the hallway, that's where we entered the Grand Suite. We entered there. This is a totally separate entrance slash exit of the same room. I'm impressed beyond words. Beyond words, Disney, this is a mind-blowing room. Mind-blowing. Now on my way out, Disney handed me this Whirlpool water bottle, both for hot and cold drinks. Disney and Whirlpool, thank you so much for the very kind gift. Really appreciate it. Now before I leave for the day, I was told that there is a washer and dryer inside. <laughs> sure enough, there they are by Whirlpool, and there are two of them. Washer and dryer, two units right there. Home away from home, truly home away from home. This is an incredible, incredible place. I'm telling you, there is no doubt in my mind that we will be back here again to see even more of it. And we've got breakfast and dinner reservations coming up. I already booked them before the resort even opened. I booked them way back. I want to get that breakfast with the characters, dinner. I can't wait. I, I'm so excited about all of it. Now I'm going to make my way for two more things. There's a recreation spot and there's a spot I think to learn more about the, ex the interior design. Not 100% sure, but we're going to find out. Two more spots to go. Thanks to my friend Trisha, I'm finding even more of these hidden Mickeys. Take a look at the carpet right there. There's a Mickey. That's so cool. Even the elevators. Take a look at some of the theming here above to the wind, to the mirrors. It's just amazing. There's one interview right here that I want to try and catch the Imagineer who created the inside of Riviera, but you can see it's already a bustling resort. <laughs> I love it. Guests are already here enjoying Riviera. That fast, that fast goes to show there's a lot of anticipation for it. A lot of folks are extremely excited about it. Booked the first day and I love it. Pretty sure it's sold out at this point because they, I mean, why not? It's super, super cool. We're gonna go for two more activities, uh, including recreation. And then we have to see this Imagineer. And then we're gonna look at some more of these. We will, we'll get there slowly but surely. Back outside now, we're gonna go talk to a friend at Disney about recreation opportunities at the Riviera Resort. As I'm walking over to recreation, I'm thinking about how Riviera is just, it's very quiet. It's by itself, it's serene, yet it's so convenient to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. And you know, you can get to Magic Animal Kingdom, of course, but so convenient to those too. So for me, it, it's the best of both. You get quiet and serene and convenient. Amazing. Nicole, thanks for being here for us. Recreation at Riviera Resort. Tell us more about it. Okay, so we're going to start with our beautiful aquatics um, program that we have. So right behind me here, we have the Riviera Pool, which is our feature pool, highlighted by a zero depth entry. But the most fun part about it is this 30 foot tall double corkscrew water slide. Oh, wow. And for our guests who may be 
short, shorter in stature, those 48 inches and under. We have the Cebu Play Aquatic Play Area. I love it. With the nod to the 1940s film, Fantasia, and highlighted by the dancing elephants, hippos, and ostriches. Awesome. But here at the feature pool, every day we do a pool regatta. Ooh. To open the to open the pool for the day, so we put remote control boats in there and let our guests play around and race. Really? And then the final race of the morning actually is what triggers that slide to turn on and start our day. That's awesome. I love that touch. I think that you're the only resort that does that. I've never heard that at any other resort. It is. As we're continuing to evolve our recreation across Walt well, Disney World, sure. we're going to start seeing some more um, signature offerings of more wow. signature pool moments. Um, so that is the signature pool moment for this specific Oh hotel. my gosh! Thirty minutes left of those special media event activities. So we. Want to prioritize those right now. I'm going straight for that Imagineer who helped design the interior of the Riviera. And then once the actual media event pieces are over, we can still be here and experience the Riviera Resort because it's open. We all can. It's magical. And after it is all said and done, we're going to stick around for a little while, look at more of these menus, more of these restaurants. It's going to be magical. I didn't miss it. I didn't miss it. The art of Disney's Riviera Resort. We're in the waiting room now to meet with that Imagineer who created the artwork of Riviera. But here's another example of a room. Bed right there. There's another one. It pulls down right here, so you've got a totally different style of room that we're just yeah. using as a waiting area. And take a look, take a look. <laughs> I can't get over the views. These views are awesome. Little pool right there, balcony right here. Amazing. It's magical in every way. While we're waiting, I'm going to show you something here. Just like Pop Century, take a look. It comes all the way down there to make another bed, and there's more artwork behind it. That is so, so cool. Kim, you helped put together some of the artwork here at Riviera, and I've got to tell you, first off, you did an amazing job. I love it. Tell me more about the inspiration and how we got to some of these amazing pieces. So, the, the art program here at Riviera Resort, um, there's actually 40 over 40 original pieces that we created for this project. I'm taking inspiration from the um, Riviera area, coast along um, France and Italy, um, looking at kind of the turn of the century, many of the artists that were in residence there were inspired by that beautiful sky and the sea, and a lot of art movements were um, represented there, such as Impressionism, Post-Impressionism, Cubism, which is an example up here. Wow. Now, I was talking to Dean earlier who helped make mm -hmm. the outside, and I was right. really, really impressed by what he had to say, how it related to Walt and Lillian. Right. Did you take pieces from that with the internal artwork as well? So there are areas within the resort where we have some black and white photography of the travels that him and his family took. Amazing. Um, like in the 1930s. Um, outside of the um, Voyager's Lounge, there is a, uh, a collection of a lot of black and white photography, as well as down in um, Prima Piatto, um, along the Banquet Wall. That's find fantastic. Some. Fantastic. It's, it's really neat seeing those those old old photos. And it's beautiful. It goes together so well. And you know, I'm thinking about the actual, the grays of the outside, the grays mm -hmm. of the inside. Mm -hmm. And somehow, and you have to tell me how this works, my eyes are just attracted to the color. Like I see a blue, I see an orange, and it just from the gray, somehow it goes extremely well. And when you think about it, it's like, does it go? But then you, you're there and it does go super well. Right. How does that work? So for the interior, we wanted to keep the interior architecture very clean and classic. So you'll see the moldings, the color palette is very clean and, and, and almost a backdrop to the artwork and the furnishings and the fabrics and textiles. That's really where the pop and color is coming from, as well as the light fixtures throughout. We, we have a lot of different, uh, very ornate pieces yes, of um, yes. lighting throughout. I've seen a few. Yeah. That's really, really incredible. So impressed. Fantastic job. Amazing. Thank you. Really amazing to hear about the artwork here at Riviera. And that wraps up the media event, but we're not done. We are not done. Now the media event is over. We're going to walk around and explore a little bit of Riviera ourselves. And thanks to Disney, $25 gift card for lunch. We're going to use it today. What an experience. What an opportunity. What a day. This is truly, truly magical. I'm so glad we had the opportunity to experience the opening, the grand opening and dedication of the Riviera Resort, a resort that I have a feeling you are going to love. If you give it a try, even if you visit, it's definitely worth it. It's majestic. It's quiet. It's classic. It's really, really nice. I really enjoy it. I'm looking forward to dinner and breakfast up here at Tobolina's later. Later on, we got reservations coming up. Looking forward to all that. Now that we've seen and done the media event activities. Let's go for lunch around, somewhere around Riviera, and then we'll try and catch a few of the things that we missed, like some bars and other small restaurants all around the resort. Let's do it. Now it's time for lunch, and I'm thinking about trying Primo Piatto. I haven't even been in there yet. There are so many delicious looking options here at uh, Primo Piatto. The Croque Monsieur, I was looking at that earlier. Bacon cheddar burger, and there's a Riviera burger. Grilled portobello mushrooms, Swiss cheese, caramelized onion, brioche bun. 
shrimp pasta or that or something like that. It all looks super good. Let's go order. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Riviera Burger, tiramisu, and soda. Thanks to Disney. Disney, thank you again for that gift card and for the opportunity to be out here. I'm, I'm smiling ear to ear. Ear to ear. What should we try? Let's get a little bit of ice in there. I'm thinking root beer. Ooh, vanilla root beer. Vanilla root beer sounds pretty good. Can't even begin to tell you how excited I am for this Riviera Burger. I have heard nothing but positive things about this location from fellow guests. Oh my gosh, so exciting. To me, it's truly amazing to see a resort go from dedication moment to full operation in moments. I mean, this restaurant has been up and running this morning, like, just full steam ahead. It's amazing to think that it just goes from closed to open just like that. You think it takes a longer period of time, but it's so fast. It always kind of amazes me to see that. You know what I just noticed on the walls of this restaurant? There are photos of Walt Disney and his family around Europe in this restaurant. <laughs> Right up there, it's amazing. We'll have to take a closer look, we will, but this is this is so cool. This Being here for this event is awesome. From the Riviera Resort, we are trying the Riviera Burger. The first food item we have ever tried from this resort is named after the resort. Of course it is, you got the fries on the side. Looks absolutely delicious. The onions, mushrooms, cannot wait. And for dessert, thanks to Disney again, the tiramisu right here. You can see the Mickey on top looks absolutely fantastic. That's for dessert. Well, let's dig in to this burger. Super, super excited about this. Bon appetit. First bite is extremely impressive. The Swiss cheese is not as overpowering as I thought it would be. But you get these tomatoes in there and the mushrooms really add a level of flavor. Let's get another bite here. Second bite impressions, I love it. It is fantastic. Fantastic. I think it could use just a tiny bit more of whatever sauce is in there. Just, just more of it. Whatever that sauce is, the more of it. It is really, really good though. I can see myself getting this one again. Riviera Burger, wow. The more bites I taste, the more I think that that sauce is closer to the center, and that's that is just really good. It's not as intense a flavor as the Wilderness Lodge Bison Burger, no doubt about it. Contempo Smokehouse Burger has a little bit more flavor to it, but this is a great burger. It doesn't have as much of that strong, strong flavor, but if you like just kind of a not as powerful with the, the different sauces, this is a really, really good one. The mushrooms, oh, so good. The burger, the fries, definitely a great way to start off our dining experience here at the Riviera Resort. And now it's time for the moment we've been waiting for, the classic tiramisu from the Riviera Resort. And I was told by my friend Brandon, who actually works as a cast member in this restaurant, that this is out of this world. All right, Brandon, let's see. Bon appetit. That is a very, very, very strong tiramisu. If you, oh my God. If you love tiramisu and you, you love a strong, I mean, strong man tiramisu, it, you might like it. You might, you might like it, but it is, wow, I've never tasted a more powerful tiramisu. When I say power, I mean like, I, I'm trying to put my finger on the flavor, but it's, it's, you know, it's almost like a coffee flavor. So powerful. It's amazing the differences in flavor. You've got this fluff right on the top. And you've got more of the, 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 the liquidy part of the tiramisu right in there. And it's, it's a very interesting dynamic. I gotta be honest with you, when I think of tiramisu, <laughs> I don't think of this. <laughs> to me, this is something totally different, but I have this strong feeling like if you grew up in Europe or you know Europe extremely well, you've tried the tiramisu in Europe, you probably will recognize this. To me, this is, just, this is so strong. This is a totally different item. This is not tiramisu to me. But again, that's just me. Overall, I gotta tell you, I like this top fluff part <laughs> better than I like the uh, the bottom part there. But it's, I'm sure, a very acquired taste, this tiramisu, again, from Europe. But overall, I really enjoyed our first meal here at Riviera, yum. Now it's time to explore more of the Riviera Resort. Now one spot we haven't explored yet is the pool here at the Riviera, and guests are already enjoying it. Right here by the pool, they've got a gelato stand with a bike right there, as if it just came right in from Epcot, basically. And then you've got the pool right over here. I love that feeling. You've got the wind, the wind from the water coming over here. Crystal clear water. Love that slide right over there. Everybody's having a great time. Take a look at the twisting slide right here. This is that main slide here at the Riviera Resort Pool. You can see the pool starts up there, goes around this way, back around that way, and then leads guests right into the water over there. Here's the kids' play area for the Riviera Resort. Fun for the littlest ones in your traveling party. A very cool theme in this water play area. I like how there's a central hub and all the slides come out of the hub. So cool to see all the little water features they have. 
The water cannon right there. Definitely my favorite part of the kids' play area. Take a look at the hippos holding up those pillars right up there. Now this is one of the two hot tubs here at the Riviera Resort. One overlooks this amazing view right there. The slide right there. The gondolas right there. Can you imagine? That, that sounds awesome. I'll take that any day. And there's another pool and another hot tub further along here. You know, I want to try racing those RC boats in the pool. I feel like that would be amazing. Now that they've cleared away the stage, you can see more of the grass right here where you can just take a stroll at the Riviera Resort. Swinging chairs over there. Ah, a relaxing feeling to say the least. Believe it or not, the gate to the second pool is already locked. There are guests enjoying it right now. It's a quiet area, so we'll just see it from here. You can see it's just for quiet guests swimming around and there is a hot tub in there as well. How magical. It's a feeling unlike any other, a brand new resort at Walt Disney World. From top to bottom, the Riviera Resort is another amazing option here at Walt Disney World. It has some amazing amenities, great views, and I love the ease of access to Epcot and Hollywood Studios, a great addition to Disney's lineup. It is a DVC exclusive resort, but it doesn't mean that you can't stay here. If you're not DVC, you can pay outright for it. It is a little bit more on the expensive side, but let me tell you, the views, the relaxation, I can see why you want to stay here. I'm looking forward to experiencing Topolina for breakfast and dinner coming up in a few days. Now before we leave for the day, let's take a quick look at La Petite Cafe and La Boutique. La Petite Cafe is a small coffee shop here in the Riviera Resort. They have all sorts of specialty coffees and hot teas and hot drinks and even some small snacks. Specialty coffee, iced coffee, hot beverages, and of course a selection of treats, including the seasonal cupcake in the middle there looks fantastic here at La Petite Cafe. Looks super good. If you go for a caramel macchiato, we're gonna save that till next time. Voyager's Lounge is just a spot for relaxing while you're at the resort. They don't serve any food here. You can get that at the cafe across the way, but here it's just about that relaxation. They have little games on the table, books you can read, a nice quiet nook. Of course, the Riviera Resort has plenty of Disney Vacation Club items as well, and they feature the Skyliner. Skyliner magic bands, shirts, and of course the super ultra large Skyliner Funko Pop with Mickey right there greeting you outside of the door. There's the Vacation Club merchandise galore, collared shirts, fanny packs, backpacks, sweatshirts, hats, photo books. It's, it's endless and I love it. There's a screen here that I just noticed called Art on Demand. You touch it and then apparently, oh there you go, you can actually start a collection from the Riviera and purchase it. So you can actually add one of these to your collection and purchase it that you find around the resort. That is so, so cool. So art that you really like around the resort, you can find it on this screen right here in the store and purchase it. Just taking a look at the paper version right now, $55 for that cruise photo right there on paper. 16 by 20 inch paper, $55. Good to know, but you can, you can purchase it. So something that you love seeing in the resort, that's awesome. I'm pretty sure that's new. I love seeing this Mickey painter, right? He's got a whole new outfit just for the whole new resort. That is awesome. He's painting right up there. There's Minnie working on her poetry, Donald sculpting, sculpting, and Daisy dancing right over there. Just, just fantastic. The detail, the depth of the story here, never ending. And of course, for the holidays, they have happy holidays with the bell right there and the Riviera Resort. And you can see Mickey and Minnie inside this bell, limited edition just for the Riviera. Gotta tell you, I love it. I love every bit about it. The, the feeling, the feeling, the storytelling within the resort goes far deeper than just the facade. It goes all the way into the, how the plants are done. The waterway, I'm so impressed by this one. We will definitely be back for some dining reservations coming up. Hard to imagine guests are already arriving on the Magical Express right here at the entrance of the Riviera Resort. An experience I will never forget. Disney, thank you again for the invitation. It means a tremendous amount to be able to open a brand new resort at Walt Disney World, especially one as beautiful as the Riviera. Wow. I also want to say a big thank you to you. None of this would be possible without you. Thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for watching. It means more than I can express to you because this this is a dream come true for me. This is a dream come true for me. We opened a brand new resort. I was here for dedication and that I can't, I can't express it, so thank you. We'll definitely be back to the Riviera Resort soon. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.